Good morning. It's uh, the 17th of March, St. Patrick's Day. And I've come down to Down Patrick, but I'm just outside Down Patrick. I'm on uh, the banks of the coil, which you can just see peeping through there. And I'm just outside Down Patrick, and I'm at Inch Abbey. Very scenic spot. A lot of history connected to this place. If you think of the other monasteries um, about the place, uh, this one too is connected with uh, John de Courcy and his wife Alfrica. Um, I think they're actually responsible for building this. Uh, so we're thinking. Um, of Carrick Fergus and we're thinking of Grey Abbey and we're thinking of uh, Mavilla Monastery there, we're thinking of uh, all the different uh, monastic sites, Snendrum obviously, all connected up here, all a network of monastic sites bringing uh, uh, Christianity and uh, civilization to Ireland in the uh, late 1100s. And this is the notice board associated with Inchabe. John de Courcy mentioned Abbey was colonised by monks from Furness in Lancashire. This is what it would have looked like back in the day. There's a lot of information there I'll not go into just at the present. You can read that for yourself by pausing. This site was used as a monastic settlement since at least 800 AD. A place of pilgrimage. There's a swan sitting in. In those days, um, transport was mainly by water. Ireland would have been heavily wooded and uh, difficult to uh, get about. Uh, very, very few uh, paths or roads available and those paths or roads that were available were uh, subject to uh, robbers and thieves. The uh, high window at the back there remains similar, similar um, architecture to that of uh, Grey Abbey. Only far uh, less remains here. Very scenic spot, I must say. And there's an overview uh, picture of the, the abbey as it sits on uh, the mouth or, or part of the, the coil here. And there was a kitchen, there was a bakehouse, there was a well, infirmary, and there was a guest house. And shabby. All these holes in the wall would have supported uh, beams, so there would have been different levels of flooring. You can see the arches there, and this would have been the uh, the main worship area, I presume. 